Hello, so what I've got here is some bases. Um, so I'm rebasing all my models at the moment. Um, they were on the old sand or textured paint that was dry brushed. So I'm putting on these, which are 3D printed bases. Um, yeah, I think they're quite nice. I think they kind of give that feel that you you want for your, for example, your custodes. So that's the end result. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, hello, daughter. Um, not now, darling. Maybe later. Okay? Oh, I'm doing a video. So, what we're going to do is we've got to start with the bases and I've sprayed them black from above and then I've gone over them with uh, the, I think it's Black Templar Contrast, um, but just a black paint, just make it proper black. So the first colour we're going to get is going to be Corax White. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a shake off camera here and we're going to Pop, pop, bit of paint on my brush. This is a cheapy brush um, from an art shop. I say an art shop, it's a shop called Teddy in Germany. It's, um, it's not quite Poundland. Not quite a dollar store. So, here we go. So, basically, you kind of want to just dry brush like so. Change the angle a bit so you want to keep the edges. And then, at some point, just... Very good, run around like so. Okay. And that's really kind of the main the main stay of it. So you can see. I got a few tones in there. Don't go for perfect, because stone isn't perfect. So that's what I've just done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let that dry and we're gonna go on to this one here. So I'm just gonna pop that brush into my uh, water and then I'm gonna find a nice big not a great brush it's had a bit of a hard life as you can see so we're going to pop that closed and going to get the contrast griff charger gray so the one i used here was if you didn't catch it was corax white so pop this open i really like this one because it's kind of a bluey gray so um, i always use a paint a brush a, 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 a base holder like a paint holder, um, just crop on. If you can, when doing this, you get less messy hands. So you see, I've got a lot of them to do, but for this, I'm just gonna show you the one. And then that way I've got a record for when I have to do some more in the future as well. So you can see on here, there's some stones. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna paint around those a little bit. Um, and then just get into there. And it's not got to be perfect. You can go over this bit if you want, but on this particular one, I'm going to, some of them I go over that bit, some of them I just leave it, and I'm going to leave it on, I'm going to paint over this one on here. Sometimes I just, it's just a choice of how you feel at the time. Okay, and I'm actually going to leave this bit up here completely untouched. Um, that way it gives you a bit of a contrast between the two colours. I tried a few different shades. Um, I went for like, a bony colour at top and stuff like that, but it just didn't really work. So, pop that there. The next thing we do is we get some of this. Um, this is Contrast Skeleton Horde. Let's give it a bit of a shake off camera. And pop it up here. So, this is going to be your, I don't know what you want to call it, detritus. Um, your dirt, so it's going to pop it in here, and like I say, is this going to? We're just going to run it across the bottom there, just so that's where the water collected, maybe. Um, bit on there, so we left these ways. I enjoy well, having to do things with children at home. Okay, so. There we go, so that's in there. So we're just gonna let that dry, okay? So that is literally just got to dry now. Once that's dry, I haven't got one in the next stage, but I can show you the next bit. The next bit is, this is on a smaller base. Um, 
so at the end when that's all done is you get a brush so another brush so like so and then I'm going to get one that's dry with no water on it or anything like that and then you get your screaming skull and get a bit on your brush and you want very little you kind of you can see I've used my hand here to wipe most of it off uh, there's nothing on my brush at the moment but for the purposes of this what we're going to do is you, you literally just want to go like that around a few angles and that's all you really need to do and that will just pick up the edges with like this lighter colour and help define it a bit and also then pick up all the stones that you went over with with the skeleton horde. Um, once that's done, um, I do it sometimes with the models on the base, sometimes separate like this. Um, once it's done, put your model on the base, let the glue dry and then just go around, I go around the rims with a black, um, as you can see here. Um, just a nice black and because you've done all this dry brushing and you and whatnot you can see on this one here that has not been painted black hopefully that the edges are kind of it's a bit mottled um, from the brushing and that just helps pick up the black so you can just do it in one coat but like I say that will eventually dry and then you give it a little dry brush and it will turn into that it is that simple okay so if you want more tips like that and you want videos like this just let me know in the comments below um give us a like give us a subscribe um make some comments tell me your favorite food or your favorite color of number i don't know just tell me anything because if you comment it kind of helps the algorithm and then the more it helps the algorithm more videos like you convinced to do and then maybe one day the children will leave home and we'll all live happily ever after on a positive note i'm going to do a video on how i paint my custodes uh, and a video on how i paint my sisters mm. and they're a slightly different way of doing them right anyway for now ciao bye